Hey everyone, so welcome back to Move Over Martha. Today we're going to switch it up and talk about tea from Tea Ivana. And I am by no means an uh, experienced tea drinker. I'm not an expert. This is just me talking about my experiences. I'm going to Tea Ivana, getting some stuff, coming home, trying it out over I'd say like the last two or three months. So I just want to talk some basics, some things that I've learned through trial and error. So we'll first talk about this cute little teapot that I ordered. I got it on sale, like clearanced out on tiavana.com, like shortly after Christmas. And it was like $55 or something like that, which I thought was pretty good compared to what it was in the store. The only thing with this teapot, though, is that... You cannot brew the tea in it like on the stove. I filled it all up, filled my tea up, put my water in, and went to you know go start putting it on the stove. And before I did that, I said, oh, let me just read the book, make sure I'm doing this right. And I was like, somebody put the brakes on when I read it, and it said, do not put this on the stove and boil water in it. So it's really just for like steeping the tea, serving it, and... Um, brewing it type of thing and like so it looks cute being served um so after I realized that I was gonna buy a regular teapot but then I for the price of that it's like 20 bucks for a teapot for $29.99 I got this tea kettle at Walmart I love it because it's electric it plugs in you just like fill it with water and you push the blue button down and it starts boiling the tea so once you're done and it, it automatically shuts off when it's done boiling the tea so the little blue light goes off and, and that's how you know it's done so I like that a lot I can get like two or three cups a day out of it when it's filled up the um, next thing I want to talk about is this Perfect Tea Maker. It's really a fantastic tool. If you can't buy anything at all but one thing at Tiavana, this is what you probably should buy. I bought the larger one just because my husband likes to drink tea with me, so I can get two mugs out of this one. If it's just me making it, I fill it up to like where that little guy is drinking the, his cup of tea. And that is like the halfway point for one of the Tiavana glass mugs. That um, is what we'll talk about next. I like this mug because when I'm putting the tea um, maker on top of it, I can see the tea filling up to know when to stop. Um, I like the size of it. It's comfortable. It's just a really nice mug. So I also want to say that this tea maker... You need to really make sure that you put it on the coaster properly because I have like set it on there and thought it was on and it wasn't and it tipped off and I came back and the counter was covered in tea. So I wasted the tea, wasted my time. I wish that they made this coaster a little bit bigger. I mean, it's like barely fits on here, which is annoying because if it was bigger, you wouldn't have that issue. I feel like a lot of the time it slips off. So that's my only downfall to this perfect tea maker. It's not the tea maker itself, it's the coaster it sits on. Underneath the tea, it's like a strainer that comes out so you can wash it and stuff, but it holds the leaves from coming through the strainer and that's how you're able to use the loose tea. So I also bought the rock sugar, which I'm on a diet and I'm doing like a no carb diet and I think it's only like two grams of carbs per like quarter cup or a couple of tablespoons something like that it's not really that much so I do use the rock sugar because they say don't use like artificial sweetener it could like change the flavor of your tea or change the vitamins and the antioxidants that you get out of the tea so I just have used that this um picture I got slightly after Christmas in the store. They were doing like a 75 or a 90% off. It was like $17.99 and I got it for like $3 and change. And what's nice about it is this larger um, Perfect Tea Maker fits exactly. Like you can't use this pitcher with the smaller Perfect Tea Maker. And I think that they do still sell this. They just like modified it. So this was their old style that they clearanced out after Christmas. Um, I like it. I just fill it up with the ice 
and then I pour the tea over it like that and I make nice iced tea for myself and I, you know, it's fresh because I've made like this twice fills this I believe and each day you do that so you have like fresh iced tea pretty much every day. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the canisters. In the Tiavana store they only sell the large canister which is annoying because it's a big canister so if you have a lot of these you have a lot of room taken up in your cabinet and I like to have a variety of tea. I started drinking the Tiavana tea mainly my husband and I used to drink tea you know, way back in the day when Barney's was like in the mall, they used to have a vanilla tea and it was really, really good. I don't know, they might still sell it online or something. I haven't really researched it. But we liked tea, but after we weren't able to get the Barney's anymore, we kind of stopped drinking it. But he likes to try new flavors, so do I. So this is something that we do together at night. We'll make tea and then, you know, talk about it, see what we like. He likes different ones than me. Um, it's just a fun thing that we kind of do, you know, together, have something to talk about. So I like the small canisters because it's a three ounce size. The large is eight, the medium is like a six ounce, and then this is a three. They only sell the six and three online. You can only get the eight, or you can get smaller ones in the store, but they're like fabric covered and they're like $11 a tin, which is kind of like ridiculous. Anywho, if you don't have the canister, you need to use the tea that you purchased within like two weeks. But if it's in a canister, it can stay for a year. And I like the little ones because I have like a lot of tea, even more than this, in my cabinet. And I only ever get two ounces because I don't know, I'm trying it, so I don't know if I like it. The ones that I have in the bigger canisters are the ones that I like. And I have like a little more than two ounces of. So go to Tiavana.com and you can buy the smaller canisters. This three ounce canister, I got like them on sale online when I bought the teapot. They were like $1.98 a tin. It was like right after Christmas. So watch for sales, but I think they are like $3.98 now. But when they were $1.98, I bought like 20 of them online. This way I had them because I knew I was going to be trying different flavors and stuff. I've bought a lot of tea just because the tea for me is kind of like a treat during the day. If I'm not eating a cookie or a piece of cake, I can have like a fruity tea and not feel guilty and it kind of like is my snack or treat for the day to keep me inspired to lose the weight. Um, so that's why I have a lot. Plus I only have two ounces of each and it really kind of lasts a long time. The thing with the canisters that's nice is that on the back, I hope this focuses, it has like, see how it has the tea type it says how much you should use, tea, you know, teaspoon wise. The temperature it should be brewed at, and the steep time. The steep time is like how long the leaves set in the water to make um, the flavor of the tea. So it tells you here for the flavored white or ice. And it does that for each one, green tea or iced green tea, which is really nice. But mainly you're using double of what you would normally use if you were making it hot. So if you were doing hot tea and you were, it said to use one teaspoon, if you were making it iced tea, you'd use double. So I um, usually always use two scoops of the rock sugar per cup of tea that I'm having. So in the Perfect Tea Maker, I'm making some iced tea and I'm using this Sakura Allure. And I noticed when I drank this hot, I always usually drink the tea hot to begin with. And then once you're drinking it, you can really decide like this, is, this would be better cold or this is a good hot tea. Um, I'm usually able to tell right away when I drink it if it's something I would from then on drink hot or cold. So what I do is on my tins, I put like a little label, kind of like this label. This label comes off your bag and then it's, it's like repositionable. You can take it on and off. But I like to put like a little white label tag on the back and I write like little notes. If I liked the tea, if it was too bitter, was it spicy, was it super fruity? Would I like it better iced or hot? Just like little notes for myself. Would I repurchase it? So I just write like, 
the main notes. Like, no, I would never repurchase this. I didn't, I didn't like it. Um, and it just helps me so that I don't repurchase something. If I have like 20 teas in my cabinet, I'm not all confused as to what I like and what I don't like. And, and then this way I know if I want to buy more of it for next time when I'm trying to like build up to get the sale price. Um, so that's how I like to keep it. Sorry. Um, and I usually put the little tag on the back. But I noticed some of the teas I like to mix too. So I would write on the back of my label like usually mix with and then write the flavor so that I know I can remember what I mixed. Like I like the strawberry slender poo -er, and I have mixed it with this slimful chocolate de decadence and it really makes a nice tea. It's like a chocolate covered strawberry. The next one I like to mix is um, Scarlet Cloud. Let's give it a minute. I like to mix the Scarlet Cloud. I bought this not because I wanted to try it because it was like they had an overstock and they had 75% off and the guy's like, oh, it's like a dollar fifty a two ounce thing. Do you want to try it? And he just like gave me a boatload of it for like four bucks. I had a ton of it. And it's very minty and I probably normally wouldn't drink it on its own, but I mix it with this Caribbean Calypso Mate and man, that's a great tea. And I just do like equal parts. So um, I, I don't like to get confused. This way I know what I have mixed before and what's been tried and true. So the other thing I want to talk about is the tea and the timer and stuff like that. At first when I was drinking the tea, I noticed um, a lot of times I'd be like, oh God, this tea is gross. Like who drinks this? And then after a couple times, I'm like, why is it that I don't like, like there's like eight different teas that I've tried in, in like the last couple days and they're really like nasty. Then I realized like I was always doing like two teaspoons, two of this perfect scoop for every single tea I was making. And then I was like, you know what, I think I need to pay attention to the directions a little more for each tea. So like this one here says a teaspoon. I was putting two teaspoons, so that's why it was like extremely flavorful. Now the minutes, when it says two minutes, you should really only steep it for two minutes. Because sometimes if you steep it for three and it goes a little longer, it could get a bitter taste to it. And I guess I wasn't really paying attention. I'm like, oh, for God's sakes, this is just like making tea, people. I'm not like doing brain surgery here, you know. I'm not making a lasagna. I'm just boiling some water and like pouring it over the tea. But it really is kind of like a little bit of a science. And they've figured it out. All you're doing is reading the instructions and doing what they say. So why not just do it that way? Because I started to follow the directions for each different flavor. And I've noticed that I've revisited some teas that I thought I didn't like. And I'm like, wow, that tea was really good. I had one that was a little spicy and I was like, Good God, this is so spicy. Who drinks this? And then when I went back and read the thing and I realized I was putting way too much tea in the Perfect Tea Maker, I tried it again and I was like, this is really nice. Like, I tasted the cinnamon more than I tasted the spice. So it's really pretty simple too when you have an app. Um, Tiavana has an app. If you have an iPad or an iPod, they do um, this app. And everything is pretty self-explanatory. It tells you like how to prepare it, how to steep it. Over here it tells you if it's a white tea, green, oolong, black. And then once you pick whichever one it is, then you just go to the flavor that it is of the tea you have. It shows you how to prepare it. It'll tell you exactly how to do it. Then it'll tell you if you want to start steeping it. And it's really cute because they do like... Um, music to it and sometimes for the different teas they have different music and then as it gets close to the end of the tea being done steeping the music kind of changes so it's kind of like an alert to let you know that your tea is almost done but you can do like a favorites and add to a favorite list you could do a blender they give you suggested blends or if you've made your own blend you can add it and you know, list it. You could go into the store. I like to go into the store because if there's one that you are wanting to buy, like this, say this Emperor's Cloud, you, I go to buy now 
and it will tell me pretty much how much it is for each two ounce serving that you get. So you just go into the store and then it'll tell you. So then, cause like the monkey picked oolong, they really pushed that tea and it's like $25 for two ounces. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's really good for like weight loss and skin and this and that. And when you have a tea that's more expensive, you're able to um, brew it several times. Like if I make that monkey picked oolong, I can get like three or four brews out of the one teaspoon or whatnot that I'm using. So if it's a more expensive tea, you can rebrew it over and over and it'll still have a pretty good flavor. So I here am making some iced tea. I've put um, all my tea according to the directions, but I doubled it because my perfect tea maker is for two servings and I doubled my rock sugar, so I did like four. The other thing I want to talk about is the temperature of the tea. They sell like really fancy tea kettles at Tiavana that do temperature and stuff like that. I haven't gotten that invested in this, but this is just a basic one. But what I did notice is that I don't pour my tea right away after it's done boiling. I let the tea sit for like a, a minute or two for it to cool down because sometimes when you pour the boiling water exactly onto the tea, especially if it's like a mild tea or a gentle tea, like a white tea, it might burn the leaves a little and then you will feel like it tastes a little bitter or burnt. So I've learned to let this cool down a little bit and then pour it over. But you could get fancy and you could um, let it, you know, get that tea maker and then let it tell you the temperature of the tea. So that's all you do. You pour your tea, your water into your tea and you close the lid. Now let's go to the tea touch. And this was a green tea. So we're going to look up green and it had a Sakura Allure. I'm going to start seeping because I already know how to prepare it. I'm going to hit start. And then when it's done, I'm going to fill my container with ice and then I'm going to set this over top and pour it right into the little pitcher and then I'll have great fabulous iced tea. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry if I talked too long or I just wanted to get all the pitfalls out that I occurred doing this and on this Tiavana journey, but I'm having a great time with it. It's really helped me to stay focused on my weight loss plan. I've hit 60 pounds this week and it's really exciting. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them. Again, I'm not a tea expert, so I'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, and I hope you subscribe if you like what I have to say and you want to hear more. So everyone have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.